magnificent sporting events are taking place in commemoration with the UFC. Is it 294? 294, right? 294. Big change is happening there, really. Huh? Anyways, so we're going to do our uh, our our uh, uh, standard speech, which I read on behalf of Palm Sports, its members, its family, and board of directors. And then we're going to have a little uh, reiteration with the same in English, and we'll have you know, Q&A, if should there be, and if anybody has any <coughs> queries, anything he or she want to learn more about the event, about Abu Dhabi, for those who are here for the first time, by all means, you are amongst your family. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, as-Sidat al-Sada, al-Hudur al-Khiram, assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. يسعدني أن أرحب بكم في هذا المؤتمر الصحفي للنسخة الاستثنائية المرتقبة من محاربية الإمارات والتي تنطلق مساء الثلاثاء 19 أكتوبر من استاد محمد بن زايد بنادي الجزيرة بمشاركة, بمشاركة مجموعة من الأبطال البارزين في مجال اللعبة التي تتزامن مع أسبوع أبو ظبي للتحدي والذي يشهد كذلك تنظيم UFC 294 وهي محاربية الإمارات تختتم عامها الرابع بنجاحات متتالية وإنجازات غير مسبوقة تمكنت خلال هذه الفترة الوجيزة تحقيق المستحيل بكل المقاييس التقليدية إلا إننا في محاربية الإمارات نعمل خارج الإطار التقليدية مستلهمين أهدافنا وطموحاتنا من دعم وتوجيهات سيادتنا الكريمة والرشيدة ويحفينا حافظا وجودنا في أبو ظبي عاصمة الفنون القتالية المختلطة وأن نعمل بمزيد من الجهد والجد وتماشيا مع مسيرة الإنجازات الحافلة وزخم التقدم والرقي في شتى المجالات وعلى جميع الأصعدة السيدات والسادة لقد أثبتنا لكم على مدار 40 نسخة سابقة منذ أن تسلمت بامز الرياضية مسؤولية تنظيم وإدارة هذه البطولة قدرتنا على التفوق على أنفسنا في كل مرة ومواصلة الارتقاء بالمستويات الفنية والمهارية في كل بطاقة نزال علم التي تسبقها ونؤكد لكم أن نسخة 45 ليست استثناء عن قاعدة وإنما هي تأكيدا لها لقد دابت اللجنة الفنية المنظمة على تنقيح واختيار أفضل المقاتلين من بين مئات من أفضل وألمع النجوم في سماء الفنون القتالية المختلطة لتقدم لتقديم لجماهيرها المخلصة أفضل بطاقة نزال على الإطلاق حتى الآن في عمر البطولة ولا شك أنها قد نجحت في هذه المهمة على رأس هذه النسخة نشهد التنافس على لقب البطولة في وزن الخفيف بين قوة لا يستهان بها متمثلة في المقاتل عمرو محمدوف وفي جاكونيف جومايف وذلك في الحدث الرئيسي الحدث الرئيسي المشترك يشهد نزالنا بين نجمين كبيرين تمكنا, تمكنا من استطابهما بعد أن حقق كل منهما نجاحات باهرة في اليو اف سي من بينهما فلدهما بperformance of the night والبرازيل الرؤولين فايفا والروسي تيمور فالييف ويسعدنا في هذا النسخة عودة راني سعدة بطل محاربية الإمارات السابق لودن الديك وكذلك عودة البطل للشعبية الكبيرة على القيسي بطل ودن الريشة لسلسلتين العربية والدولية بالإضافة إلى عودة المقاتل الأردني المميز نورس أبزخ وتسعدنا ولأول مرة مشاركة رينات خافالوف وهو بطل منظمة الإف سي لوزن الديك ومن المشاركات المرتقبة في هذه النسخة المقاتلة السينية كونغ وينغ التي تمكنت في السابق من الفوز على نجمة يو اف سي وإحدى أفضل المقاتلات على الإطلاق فالنتينا شيفتشانكو في نزال الموتاي قبل عدة سنوات وفي الختام يشرفني أن أقدم بجزيل الشكر ووافر التقدير إلى شركائنا الاستراتيجيين شركاء النجاح وعلى رأسهم دائرة الثقافة والسياحة الراعي الرسمي للبطولة ومجلس أبو ضابي الرياضي برئاسة سمو الشيخ نهيان بن زايد وإلى شريكنا الإعلامي قنوات أبو ظبي الرياضية وأخيرا وليس آخرا إلى سعادة عبد المنال الهاشمي رئيس اللجنة المنظمة تثمينا لدعمها المتواصل والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Pardon the static in me reading this it just did not want to fit So for those that don't speak Arabic a very concise reiteration of our official opening statement uh, We at Palm Sports are very proud to be, be amongst you celebrating our 45th fight uh, the team, uh, especially the matchmaking team led by Ryan, spared no efforts and spared no uh, resilience in bringing one of the best cards we have had so far. So UAE UA Warriors 45 will have a commemorative uh, bout. We believe every single fight in the 12 fights we have could be a main and common event. And we hope that our audiences who have been a propellant in our ever-growing 
uh, 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 our growing uh, expansive uh, uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the field of MMA globally uh, are happy and satisfied with our uh, answer to their call. You will not believe, all of you should be proud of what we have done together. The UE Warriors is an organization that is bestowed in one and only one principle, we are one family. This is what makes us strong. We are very cognizant of where we stand in the global scene. We are not as big as UFC, we're not as big as E, and as many other organizations, but that does not mean we have something that has our own instinctive DNA that no one else can have. We are an organization that celebrate everyone. We celebrate win and we celebrate loss. But most importantly, we embrace all of you. So welcome home, this is your home in Abu Dhabi, this is your cage, and we hope every single fighter that comes to you Warriors use our cage to go to the next level. We are an organization that are not shying away and will never ever be a propellant or an obstacle in any of you using us to go to the next level. In the country, we're proud of that. There will be the day where we will have our management, where we will be enlisting fighters to be and only be exclusive to yours, but it is not gonna happen any day soon in the sense of the next two or three months, but it surely will happen sooner or later. Uh, on behalf of Palm Sports family, the team, our uh, senior management in, Zambut, in the board, thank you so much and let's make a uh, UE Wars 45 to remember. One thing we should share to all audiences if we're being heard, uh, UE Wars 45 is going to be the first time we ever gonna do one of our fights on a Tuesday night. So we really don't know how it's gonna work. But so long you are there, I think we're gonna have a night to remember. I hope the audiences will take it well. Uh, initially, we had booked our UE Warriors 45 a year ago, as we always have been used to, and all of you have been accustomed to, a night before the UFC Rio. But for reasons beyond, actually, for logical reasons, I don't say reasons beyond my control, because they were in our control, but because we are a logical organization, we don't want to overcrowd the Abu Dhabi event calendar, and we opted to go back a few days, all in celebration of Abu Dhabi Showdown Week. All right, awesome. Yuri. Um, first of all, this is great. Nice to see you again. Very, very nice. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Charles. So, uh, I have to give you a compliment to today. Merci. Tout droit, je te dis, Yuri. Yeah. Nice trying to give you a hard question. Habibi. Um, let's do it. Come to Egypt. Egypt is yours. Yes. We've been, we've been there. Thank you, sir. That's better. Okay. So the switch from Habib's gym to. Um, uh, to Al Jazeera Club. We've been in Al Jazeera Club last year. I don't want to say what is the main reason because that's not on my business. No, because it's you, your business. You, no, no, but it's, you, it's you, everybody's business. Yeah, but you have a vision that maybe I don't, you know. I can shed some light into it. Okay. No, that's your question? Uh, the, 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 the switch, first of all. Yeah. Um, uh, and a little bit of a comment of what you said that we're doing for the first time on Tuesday. Uh, that does force you to do it on Monday. So I don't think that's a problem. But I believe that because it's showtime week, uh, the, 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 be, everyone is going to be talking MMA, so I think it's not a bad thing, by the no, way. No, thank you. I think, I think it's a good thing, actually. We kick-start the showdown week. I mean, we like to be pioneers in everything we do. And when we talked about Habib Jim Rio, you are, by the way, for those who don't know you, Rio is part of our family, just like you are, except he's more learned than I am. But Rio, when I personally, Fuad, wanted to do it in Habib Jim, but I had stronger voices in, on our organization, namely... Yazan, Ruba, Diego, Ryan, I don't, Ryan, you were against or with? Against, Wesley, they all were against us doing it at, yeah, Wesley, it's you, you're against, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, they were against doing it in Habib Gym. I wanted to do it outside. But the weather, unfortunately, did not help. Normally, though, in October, towards the end of October, we could sit down outside with no problem. But this year, I have been in, like, this is, to me, this is a, Different, let's put it that way. I have never seen the weather this harsh ever. The humidity is, is unbelievable. So can you imagine, Ali, by the time you walk to the cage, you, people will leave. So we don't want to do that. That's why we opted to look for another location. And a Jazeera club, was it our best choice or first choice? No, it was not. But we don't have many choices. Abu Dhabi, as I've always said, is the capital city of not only sports. It's the capital city of many things. There are hundreds of events that are done in Abu Dhabi yearly. 
hundreds of events in every domain. So you have hundreds of events in science, in petroleum industries, in literature, in cinematology, in sports. So it's difficult to do an event in Abu Dhabi on the spot. It's really not easy. Although we have one of the greatest and the most grand infrastructures anyone could wish for. But alhamdulillah, that also makes you a more of a target for international events that are looking for success to come to Abu Dhabi. So we opted to go with the Jazeera Club, but we're trying to <coughs> learn from the setbacks of last event to make sure it's a smoother one this time. Okay. The question should have been to you, Nawaz. المفروض كل سؤال لك بس عشان ال seniority لي علي لازم أتكلم معي بس نقول أقدمية. طيب مع بس أنا أقول لك يا أول شيء البقية في حياتي عظم الله أجركم أنا أعرف إنه هذا النزال راح يكون مميز بطريقة مختلفة لأن قاعد قاتل لصديقك سيف اللي توفى مؤخرا. فتعازينا الحارة تعازينا الحارة إلى فرح أرجع لك بس السؤال لازم يكون للأقدمية والعاية القيسي معلش علي هذه أول نزال this is the first time in a long time that you fight not for a title I believe your last six seven fights if you count Titan and you are the holder of two belts upon yeah, that's what I'm saying. Six or seven. So I was off by one. Salli on Nabiyan. Come on. <laughs> Give me credit. <laughs> if I missed it by 50%, seven it's fights, not. Yeah. So the, the last seven fights were on title. Does it make a difference for you that you're not fighting for the title? Do you feel a bit slighted that your your fight is the fourth one from down? Yeah, you're not fighting for the title. So I understand you shouldn't be the, the, the main event. But the, does it feel different? And a, a follow-up to Fuad. Are you preparing him to send him back again to, to the UFC after he answers? Oh, please, Ali, sorry, forgive me. It's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer. I think if you put Ali's fight in the first fight, it's still a main event. So that's for, that. for me, for me, I'm a fan now. I'm, I mean, I respect everyone, but now I'm a fan before I run an organization. There are certain fighters who have this in their genetics. It could be any of you, it could be all of you. So uh, the, rank, the rank of the fight has, of course, it has uh, relevance, especially because when you look at UFC, if you use that as your patron, you have the car, shoot some uh, pre prelims, and then, then the main event. Kobe and then main. But I think your question is right. Uh, Ali is fighting our fourth fight, but that's because there's belts and there's that all stakes. Only, and Ali came in three weeks ago or less, right? Yeah, three weeks. And we like to see, as an organization, we like to see Ali with our belts. For many reasons, he brings excitement, he brings a great crowd, and he, we want him to fight. So I'll leave, I just want to tell you that whether it's four or one or two, I, I think Ali will, it, all his fights are, are, are main events. Ali, is there pressure that, or there's less pressure on you so it's not for the belt? No, no, it's okay. Alhamdulillah, fight is a fight, and Alhamdulillah, it's a change. And for you, uh, now what is this your first fight after? Are you injury free? I Are you injury free? This is the first fight after you get the belt. first <laughs> لا تمام الحمد لله يعني كانت الإصابة خفيفة وبعد أسبوع من الفايت قدرت أرجع التمرين وأكمل تمريني بشكل طبيعي. Okay and the questions for Hassan. Um, you train with Hamzat. How are you splitting yourself? You're having your fighters doing the main event, I believe, correct? Main event and first fight. So imagine. So my question, how do you I know you're training with uh, uh, Hamzat, or you're training Hamzat at uh, uh, TK MMA in, in Dubai. Does that leave a lot of pressure for you? Do you have enough time? I mean, I come in and I see you guys. I took one of your classes, you know, right? Thank you for letting me. But uh, do you have time? You know, because at one point he was even teaching the class, if you remember, uh, uh, when I came in. So, do you guys have enough time to train for the fight? Assalamu alaikum for everyone. Wa alaikum salam. Uh, we have time for everyone. We are same like UAE warriors. With UAE warriors, we are like a one family. And for us, um, it doesn't matter. Uh, 
which fighter, where fight, we didn't, uh, we not separate the fighters. We are all like a one team. So you have enough time? And yes, enough time. Will Hamzat be at the event? Inshallah. <laughs> okay, inshallah. Bring him along. Yeah. Well, because I know Fuad is going to always surprise. Every time we went to Al Jazeera last year as well, the place there was what I call the VIP lounge when we had seven UFC fighters over there and everyone's dying just to take pictures and, and meet them. So I'm going to trust Fuad. Inshallah, yeah, we, we, need your, we need everybody's help, please. This is uh, an event that came, to be honest, at a very tough time for us as a company. Uh, maybe I never highlight this enough, but maybe I should. The UE Warriors is not our core business as a company. I hope everybody understands this. We are an ever-growing, evolving organization called Palm Sports. UE Warriors is an entity in Palm Sports. So the team that works for the UE Warriors, and I don't know, this is probably going to hunt me back. The UE Warriors we do with, with, with passion, really. We, we enjoy working. It's not like we have a special team that does the UE Warriors. Everyone in, U, in the Palm Sports team does the Warriors on top of her or his duties. This time, it came at the busiest time of any month that I've been at since eight years. I've been in Palm Sports, oh my God, yeah, eight years, almost eight years and a half. This is probably the busiest two months I've ever had. Days, please help us. You are part of the family, fill in the gap. So Rio, if we bring in people, you want to invite people, absolutely. We live in a world that is strange. The moods and the, the pertinence of success are no longer the same. Today I can bring a fight and I tell you what, if people would take a look at our last 40 cards, with the respect I have for everyone that participated in the last 39 cards, this is one of the better cards we've ever had. Amazing job was done by the team. Thank you all for being there. And many of you are returned. Many of them have come back and we love that. But again, if we have the event and we don't have that group of people Rio referred to, we will be missing something in the aerial view. But for us, we're proud of every single one of you. And we want to bring those. And when we work hard with you, Rio does a job with us too as well. So does Jabber, so does Abu Zuhair. We all work. We try to bring all those celebrities or all those known icons for you because I think some of you use them as motivation. For us, it doesn't really matter as an organization in the intrinsic value. But when it comes from a media perspective, we do. Since you asked for help, I will take care of all the VIPs. I have no issue with that. for you. Well. سيدي البطوله طبعا بتلعب في ضمن اسبوع ابو ظبي للتحدي yes. واضح انه من من الزخم الفنون القتاليه المختلطه في ابو ظبي وخاصه بطولات اكتوبر تاكيد حقيقي على انه ابو ظبي باتت حقيقه هي عاصمه الفنون القتاليه اهميه النسخه 45 ضمن اسبوع ابو ظبي في ظل وجود مسؤولي ونخبه المغاتلين for those who don't speak Arabic, Jabra, I think this was a good question. I think you're going to help me answer it. Uh, Mr. Muhammad is one of our most senior sports columnists for the last 20 years. Uh, the air is a bit too hot. See if the air condition is on. Uh, his question was, how important is UE Warriors 45? amidst the fact we have so many international events taking place and celebrities that Rio referred to and sports icons and UFC mania happening in Abu Dhabi. It is very important to have. We have a lot of support for them. I am sure that there are other organizations or other organizations that are able to pay for the money that can be used in this week. We are in the world of the world. We are in the world of the world of Abu Dhabi. أتاح لنا فرص مع يعني لا تحصى من 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 أسباب للنجاح ومنها فعاليات زي شودة عن أبو ظبي تستقطب أهم المهارات بهذا المجال خاصة الـ MMA وأنت ما عم بتنظم بطولة على ون نايت أنت عم تنظم a celebration of sports يعني يعني مشروع it's a festival it's not only one night we have seen وخلصنا صح I've been I've been in UFC many of us have been in UFC it's one night you go maybe there's an after party وخلصنا in Abu Dhabi it doesn't happen this way 
عندك اسبوع قبل وعندك اسبوع بعد فيكون لنا دور بهذا الاسبوع المهم الرياضي هذا لحاله علامه نجاح لمنظمه محاربه الامارات اي اي فيل ريو از ريوز كويشنز تريجرد مي انا ما بعرف شو شير ذس ويز يو فور ذا فايترز بارتيكولرلي وي ار غونا هاف ماني كاميراز راين يو ذير اي ثينك وي شو شير ويز ذيم ذا لاست ايميل وي ريسيفد وات دو يو ثينك وود ذات انكورج ذيم Uh, Rio was asking if we have any surprises. Well, I'm going to spill one of the surprises. We are going to have a live recording of the backstage, on stage, preparation, warm up by UFC. They're going to send the team, they're going to be there with us. And one thing we hope is they choose as many as a few. And I'm not saying they're coming here to choose one or two or choose anybody, no. But they're coming to document the event. That in itself is an attestation. Falling lead to uh, Rio's uh, question on uh, will there be a talent being taken from here or not? Absolutely, Rio. This is a very pinnacle time. Uh, I, I don't want to name fighters, but I, we received hundreds of requests to be part of UE World 45 because it is the quickest opportunity of showcasing one's talent to the holy grail of MMA UFC. And I hope as many as a few succeed, Ya Rabbi. بهذا الاذان يا رب سو جست كان ريسبكت ذا اذان اند جست ار بي كوايت فور سكند ابو زايد كنا حابين نعرف ال... بس خلي الاذان يخلص سوري Sorry about the delay. كنا عاوزين ابو زيد نعرف هل في استراتيجيه خاصه لعام 24 وخصوصا ان هتضم النسخه ال 50 من البطوله؟ اكيد سؤال مهم جدا وشكرا الكالندر الكالندرز نما جاهزه لسنه 2024 واحنا نوهنا بالمؤتمر الصحفي السابق انه بامز بامز واليو ووريز راح يقلصوا عدد النزالات احنا عم نعمل قلنا 14 15 16 نزال بالسنه السنة الجاية راح يكون عندنا 10 نزالات فقط لا غير بس راح يكونوا متخصصين وراح يكون عندنا فايت كارد على مستوى اليوم واعلى بجزء رب العالمين. الاحتفالية ال 50 راح يكون كل كوريكودور فيها اوريدي الفريق العمل بالتشاور مع المحبين زي ابو زهير وريو والشباب وحضرتك راح يكون لنا كمان دور فعال برسم هيئة الاحتفال بالنسخة 50. ابو زيد كان بقى اسالك على النسخه ال 45 هيكون فيها حاجه مختلفه مع قرب ال 50 برضه يعني في نفس الاطار هلا للامانه اي داوت راح يكون في شيء مختلف بال 45 غير عن اللي احنا متعودين نعمله 
بلاقي يكون في ما في سيلبريشن ما في فيستيفال بس راح يكون في زخم اعلامي باذن رب العالمين من برا الدولي وراح يكون في عندنا ضيوف من برا الدولي اللي يليقوا بمستوى الحدث ان شاء الله. Just for those in English, or some of the last two questions from my colleagues here, more journalists, they stated, do we have a clear calendar or a clear strategy for 2024? And would UUS 45 have any symbolic festivity? I'm like, not really. The biggest festivity in UU 45 is you being amongst us. And for 2024, yes, we have already identified a 10 fight year. We have changed our methodology in bringing the warriors. This year, we would have had 12 warriors. Last year, we did 14. We're planning to have 16. But we realized there are just so many events happening in the year. And now, really, we're only going to do 10 next year, maybe nine, maybe eight. But we're going to do 10 big events. So that brings me to another question, if you don't mind me asking. Mm. The, uh, the talk, at one point, was to unify the belts. Yes, absolutely. African, Arabian, mm. and international. Yes. Is this still the plan? 100%. We aim by December 2024 to have a fight night before belt unification. Just belt unification. We're going to have five bouts where we will have those holding one belt versus another. I doubt it will be possible to have one fighter that's going to win the three belts and maintain them because it will be a heavy toll in his or her fighting calendar because they'll have to do three or four fights minimum. So the strategy, if, if, if someone like Ayel Qaisi, he has an international but he has the Arabic uh, belt, will he fight or? Yes, absolutely. Actually, yeah. Ayel Qaisi is a perfect example to begin with. He already has two belts. So what we want as an organization, we want Ayel to challenge the holder from the international belt. Then we'll have the undisputed UE Warriors uh, title holder in his category. So what happens to the belt? Will there? The three belts will come with him. That's it. That's it. There is. But will there still be contenders to fight? Will there still be an Arabic version? Uh, Arabic 100 percent. And he could, he'll be contending for one belt at a time. But the fact, like if he make a fight for the Arabian belt, the next fight, it'll be for the Arabian one. La Samahallah, should he lose, he'll still be our international and our African Muslim belt holder. Okay. And, and generic question to the fighters. Any of the fighters can jump in. Uh, we didn't get the card on time, so I, I'm not as prepared as I should yeah, be. I'm sorry, I know it was my them, bad. You know. But uh, we'll start with the ladies. This is your second time fighting here. I had interviewed you before. Um, what, what are the consensus to fight to an organization like the UAE Warriors? You know, we heard Dana White at one point said this is the, one of the top five organizations in the world. But I would like to ask you what is the consensus? I mean, I know you're Australian Lebanese, right? Yeah. Australian, yeah, yeah, and then Lebanese know. background, yeah. Th th there you go. So what is the, uh, since you guys uh, gave us Alexander Poganovsky, you know, so uh, what are the consensus, what is the the, the reputation of UAE Warriors outside uh, the Middle East? Uh, in Australia, it's very well known. Um, a lot of people know about it, not only because I've been fighting on it, but it's just, as I said, UFC Fight Pass is a great kind of leeway into everything. They kind of... Um, puts in all the kind of promotions that are going around. So um, it's very well known in Australia. And um, yeah, it's a great pathway into the UFC, into any other big organization. Okay, any of the other gentlemen, since we we talked to ladies, anyone can tell us in the, your native land, your la native country, what are the consensus or the reputation of the UAE Warriors? I'm really very curious to know. And don't worry about Mr. Fuad. He has no, the biggest no, heart. He's no. not going to say anything, uh, either good or please, bad. Please, I, I love, thank you, Rio. Just, yeah, please tell us. I think everybody should learn. Hi. Uh, in Ireland and in Italy, uh, your awards is a uh, very good promotion. Where well, you're from, so we know the accents can kind of... Yeah, because I am um, training in, uh, in Ireland, but I live in Italy, no? In, uh, in Italy, it's a very good promotion of your warriors because uh, uh, the, the belt are uh, with some mommy, and yeah. uh, he fight uh, a lot of time, and you're training a lot of time in Italy. And in Ireland, I train with um, Will Fury, is the ex uh, middleweight champion, mm. no? Is a is a good promotion, and all the guys say when I sign the contract, say, oh, nice, it's, it's very good promotion. It's a very high level, and for me, it's a very honor to fight for uh, for Way Warriors, and uh, I'm very happy to fight uh, against Ali because uh, I think he's a good champion, and for me, is a is a amazing opportunity, no? Because I I love the strong fight. I don't want an easy fight. My ex my last time. I fight versus Strigel, he's an ex-UFC fighter. And for me, it's a very amazing 
performance and good opportunity. And now with him, it, I think it's very good, uh, good opportunity again. It's a uh, good work. I'm delighted to have you. Thank you. I would like to, to ask the Chinese fighter if, if, uh, if you can tell us if you have any anything to know about UAE warriors in China. Or anyone? Any else? Any any other of the fighters would like to tell us? I really am very curious about how are we perceived in outside the country. You know, the UAE is a young country, 50 years old, and uh, the UAE Warriors is only, since 2019, we reintroduced the, ver the new version of the UAE Warriors. So if anybody can tell us, I would love to hear anyone else. We heard in, in Ireland and Italy, we heard in Lebanon and Australia, so I'm giving you a duel. I, I mean, you, you go, you, the yeah, States, how do you feel? My last, my last two years, can I have please? So my last, my last two years, my camp in uh, Florida, Deerfield. So I, I think like the first camp was, well, I, I been there with the, when I fought the Korean guy, the first title fight with the UE Warriors, and uh, it's, it's, it's crazy. Like UE Warriors, it's big there too. Like I, I train. We can expand outside the UAE, but this is something that I always ask. This no, no, no. And, you know, I, I want to. I want to travel. <laughs> I feel terrible. Yeah, I, I, this is something we should have done. And wallahi, we, we, you know, we, we have been approached and approached uh, European cities. Uh, we've been approached by in China, in Macau, in the Middle East. We've gone Egypt, uh, Jordan, Lebanon. Uh, we've been approached by many places, but. It, it could be that we're way too busy to give it the appropriate time. Maybe we're looking for a partner that's going to help us uh, quell our efforts abroad because it's not easy to move the warriors. It really is not easy. It's not easy at all. I, I don't want to be like the next, or with my respect to all other organizations. Look, look at UFC. Really. You worked with the UFC. Before any event in any city, they spend a month in the city and they do everything with their own team. It is an expensive process, but it is the right process. I want the warriors, when they go abroad, to go the same way. I can partner with many organizations abroad. We had Korean companies. We had uh, companies from India, from Pakistan, uh, from Japan. They all want to work with us. Right now, UE Warriors, when it comes to a financial prowess away from Palm Sports, it doesn't have that uh, 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 ease in moving the entire team to another city and make sure everything is rolled as smoothly as deal. 
So inshallah, in the right time, we will. Well, one last question from yes. my part. Uh, you, you are a father yourself. You always talk, we always talk about being family. How does Fuad Darwish, the CEO of Palm Sports and UA Warriors, feel about two of his favorite sons, one of them fighting, going to be fighting in ADXC, a sister uh, uh, organization that's going to happen in, in, uh, in, the, in Abu Dhabi, Tariq Sleiman, and Hamad Yahya. He made it to the UFC. How do, do you feel proud that you know you are producing such homegrown or people that fought and they're champions actually in the organization that they're fighting in the UFC because uh, Muhammad Yahya is the first Emirati to fight in the UFC. Does that make you proud being responsible for getting him there? Well, you thank you. You give me more than I deserve as an individual, but I'm certainly representing Palm Sports and being part of this team. I'm very, very proud that Muhammad Yahya will be raising the Emirati flag at UFC. It's a huge, for those who don't know, this did not happen sporadically or it did not happen instantaneously. No, it, did. it took years and years and years, just like you or Ali or you, who you trained for many, many, many years. Same thing happened with Muhammad. It's, it's a 14-year process. Uh, the, if there's anyone we should thank, to be honest with you, it's our great leadership that allowed us to, to, to invoke in our dreams and yearn our uh, efforts to bring in those achievements. So, uh, on behalf of Palm Sports, the uh, you Warriors, and yourselves, we congratulate uh, Muhammad Yahya for being the first Emirati representative at UFC bouts. However, Muhammad has been, he followed a celebration of UE Warriors fighters that went on to UFC. We have more than 20 fighters that went there and other fights, uh, other grander organizations. Uh, yes, we're a very trading company. Palm Sports today trains every single day 160,000 Emiratis. Please pay attention to the number. 160,000 Emiratis are trained every day by Palm Sports team. So any sporting event that is born in our country gives us reason to be proud and gives us more responsibility to bring better and help embrace and identify talent to the next level. So for Tariq Sliman to be at the ADXT, I'm very happy for him. It's a good day. It's always good exposure to be as a, pi a pioneer in a new organization. I know Abdelman Hashmi has done lots of work with his team and making ADXT a globally heard of name immediately. But something we have to say, Papa, UE Warriors today in three years became a global name, but not because we've done such an enormous job, but because we were able to build on the success of the existing infrastructure of the Emirati sport in particular and the Arab sport in general. And it's a jiu-jitsu tournament more than MMA. If but you but the, the, the ADXT is a celebration of jiu-jitsu and MMA in itself. The jiu-jitsu is the core and the MMA cage is our, you know. So there is a marriage of, 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 of celebration of sport right here. This is the spirit we're talking about here. So that's for all of you. It's something worth watching. Uh, and we shared with them the spot on Friday. And we thought, well, his excellence, I'm going to be at the helm of both. You know, we wish them luck and we'll all be there to support them. Last question, Please, the, the, Habib's, gym, the yes. Habib's gym, Yes. what's happening tomorrow? Uh, or we, like whenever? Today, I will find out exactly what time and when we will have the official entourage for the official opening. We, as we promised, it's going to be done next week. And it's for sure it's not going to be Tuesday or Saturday. So it's going to be any night between, and we're short of nights. It's either going to be Wednesday and Thursday. But then I also learned there's a big DC event on Thursday and there's a big event on Wednesday. So I just want to know when people will be able to give us an hour to have that opening. And we're thinking of having the opening at 10 p.m., to be honest, because that's the only time we get people. At 10 p.m. is not a bad idea. Not a bad, especially the with, nice. the weather, with the weather. is really yeah. good, as I was going to say. <laughs> Rio, I'm so happy you made it, because you, you always give uh, uh, life in this atmosphere. For those who are listening to us and partaking via, uh, is it Zoom or Teams? What is this? What are we talking to? Whatever it is, via the media, thank you very much for being with us. For the fighters that came as far as from China all the way to Ireland, Italy, uh, Russia, uh, those who came from the States, uh, thank you very much. Okay, and we wish you a great, great uh, uh, fight night for you to remember and your family. Good to have you, young, young lady. And uh, thank you so much. And let's have a good, good, safe fight, all right? God bless you. Thank you, guys. Enjoy Abu Dhabi. Yeah. Picture? Can we have a picture with the fighters, all the fighters? Can we have all the fighters? Do we have fighters in there?